and welcome to another video. Today we're going to go ahead and review a fragrance from the house of Lancome. The fragrance we're going to touch upon today is called Hypnos Om. This is the bottle. It, as you can see, it has a really interesting design and let me, guys, let me let you guys in on a little secret. I bought it because of the design. I had initially had no interest in it. I saw it, I saw the bottle, I was like, whoa, let me pick up this scent. I know it sounds crazy, I know it sounds a little bit, a little bit stupid, but that's what I did. Um, now, yeah, so very interesting bottle design, very distinguishable. Now, this fragrance was released in the year 2007. Sorry, I was looking at something here. It was released in the year 2007. Uh, it, it was available uh, for the 2.7. It was available for $75, which is, or for the 2.5 or 7, $75, which is this size, and a very smaller miniaturized version uh, is available for it. That's just the 1.6, and it's about $53 retail. I'm not quite sure if this has been discontinued. I've been looking around for it, but I saw some inflated prices, and inflated prices usually mean that it's either hard to get or that it's been discontinued. So that's one thing that you should keep in mind with this fragrance, all right? So let's charge right in. Uh, let's start with the notes. The notes of this fragrance consist of, at our top, we've got cardamom, mint, and bergamot. For our mid, we have lavender. And for our base, we have patchouli, amber, and musk. Very simple note breakdown. One thing that is noteworthy of this scent is this landed on my top 10 hated fragrances. Now. When I I hadn't actually gone through and gone through multiple warnings for it, so I actually thought this fragrance had fig in it. Looking at the notes, this fragrance does not have fig in it, but it has something that reminds me of fig, and it still made me nauseous. So if you want to see that video, I've got it. You know, do a search for top ten hated fragrances, and you'll see it. So this one landed on that. But after some time on my skin, I began to realize that this fragrance actually reminded me of two other fragrances, two other fragrances which I like. Uh, one of the fragrances is uh, C.H. Men, and the other fragrance is L'Homme Libre from Yves Saint Laurent. And so I realized, you know what, I think I know what is causing that fig scent. And it's the way the amber mixes in with the lavender, because those are the two main notes of this one that I pick up with my nose. Amber and lavender. The amber is a very, it's not the overly resinous or sweet amber that you usually smell in it it's very smooth the, the amber in this one is very smooth and same thing with the lavender it, it mixes in very smooth it doesn't smell like a distinct lavender and i think that's what's giving it this fig like sweetness if you will the other thing is uh that's changed since i made that video i started eating figs uh despite the fact that i you know i've never really been a big fan of figs i never really hated them but at the same time you know i i actually kind of enjoy them and i've been eating them a little bit more just in because i've been eating a lot more salads and stuff like that i've been you know making a little bit more sweet by adding fruits in and figs is something that i came across but either way so i'm gonna have to redact and change my thing rather than this smelling like fig it smells like a subdued lavender now the one thing despite the fact that i have more fig exposure uh, and I'm still gonna stick by the fact that uh, it reminds me of it is the fact that it still makes me a little bit nauseous at the end of the day, which has not changed on this. And so, you know, the scent is very wearable. And I said, and like I said, it's very similar to CH Men, and it's very similar to uh, Lom Rible, But at the same time, it's got something in it that distinguishes it. And I think it's the lavender that gives it. Uh, this nauseous kind of vibe to me. But at the end of the day, you're really getting an amber and a lavender mix set, which, you know, comes across as very presentable. Three sprays is what I do on this. It's a very versatile fragrance. You can wear this in the in the spring, summer, fall, winter, you name it, you can wear it in this. It'll do great in any season that you think of. It's a great work fragrance. It's a great casual fragrance, highly versatile. This is a very versatile fragrance, which is a high positive for this scent. Uh, this is age-wise, uh, I think out of college can go ahead and pull this one off, but I think if you're a younger person, you might have a little bit of a hard time pulling this fragrance off. And performance-wise, I get a solid eight to 10 hours or so on this fragrance um, and it's gonna project a pretty decent amount so it's a solid fragrance in terms of performance compliment wise I did not get any compliments like I said this is one that is nausea inducing for me so therefore I wasn't really able to fully wear it for the full time I usually would have to like I strategically decide to wear this one on days where I knew that I was gonna go to the gym and then hence take a shower and scrub it off basically so um, a little bit of biased on that one, but you may have a little bit more success 
uh, for this particular fragrance. Now, if I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, sorry, uh, I, I completely lost my train of thought. But anyways, if I'm gonna go ahead and give this fragrance a rating, I give it a rating an eight out of 10. Despite the fact that it kind of is nausea inducing to me, I still think that it actually is a good fragrance. Uh, there are some fragrances to me that are nausea inducing that have no redeeming qualities that I would never recommend to other people. But this on the other hand, has, other hand is a little bit different and I actually would recommend it to other people. This is not a fragrance for me and at the end of the day, I'm still gonna sell this because I don't like it. But it still is a good fragrance, highly versatile. If you can get it for a reasonable price, it's a reason it's a very nice priced fragrance for its cost so at the end of the day at the end of the day it's a good fragrance all right i just can't get down with it so that's my review on hypnos ohm let me know what your thoughts are on it uh your thoughts may be a little bit different uh but i'm always curious it'll help people out in what they think about the fragrance and what their or their decision making process and buying it all right so thank you guys take care of yourselves you guys have a great day